Don't you love liberals when they talk about the Constitution? Look at Obama. What does he say? He wants to stand for the rule of law, right? The rule of law? Didn't he say, like, uh, transparency would be the touchstone of his administration? This guy's such a liar. It's not even funny anymore. It's just natural every time he talks. I mean, this man actually thinks, let me ask him this. Is it okay? Does the Constitution say that all the terrorists out of Gitmo so they can come back and kill Americans again? Does the Constitution say, don't enforce the law that sanctuary cities run rampant so they can kill American citizens? Does that say that in the Constitution? This guy didn't teach constitutional law. He's so full of shit. No one's seen his transcripts. No one believes this. I mean, I can go on and on about this guy. And what does Hillary want to do? Well, she just wants to do it. Obama does. She thinks he's, the last eight years have been so great, great. She wants to give free college to every kid like Bernie now because Bernie wants to do it. She's okay with Iran getting nukes. Okay, great. That's just dandy. There's your Democratic Party. They're okay with Iran getting nuclear weapons, people. Think about that for a minute. Think about that. Is that insane? Well, she should be. Her husband actually gave nukes to Korea, North Korea. So why wouldn't she, right? I mean, this woman is so corrupt like Obama. It's amazing to me. She's okay with emptying out Gitmo. She's fine with sanctuary cities because her kid is protected by people with guns, but they don't want your child to be protected with people who own guns. So that's why they're okay because they want the vote. They can care less about that. You know, she's against the coal industry like Obama. So they're, they're creating jobs, right? You know what Democrats say? She's against the Keystone Pipeline. That's another job creator she's against. These people are so backwards, but yet they still vote for them. They vote for them. Do you know the $6 billion is still missing from the freaking uh, Treasury when uh, she was a Secretary of State? They don't know where the money is. Really? I call her the killer bees with Bill Clinton, Benghazi, and Bosnia. But you know what? It's not going to affect the thing. They're still going to vote for this liar. The, the country just wants a charlatan, a snake, a shyster, a crook. That's it. By the way, her husband deported Elio Gonzalez. Do you remember he is? I know young people don't, but look it up. He's the kid that was in a closet, then went in a gunpoint and shipped him back to Cuba. Do you remember that story? No, but it's the nasty, mean, stupid Republicans. They're against all human race. Really? It's the Democrats are against the human race, folks. They're the ones. They're worried about this global warming crap, but they don't care about ISIS running rampant, beheading people. That's, that's just a setback, as Obama calls it, right? That's a setback. Right. Right. We, we got to go golf if a guy gets beheaded. That's just a setback. These people are nuts. They show you how evil they are. Do you know Obama administration is suing nuns? Now, who sues nuns? The sis little sisters of the poor. These are nuns, folks. The devil sues nuns. Think about it. Who attacks nuns? The devil. I'm not Catholic, but you know what? I'm not attacking nuns. They're out there helping the elderly, these little sisters of the poor. But the Obama administration is suing them, and Justice Sotomayor is fine with that. You people need to think. I've been seeing it all over. It's the Supreme Court's the most important thing in this election. Because without the Supreme Court, the country is done, folks. Do you understand that? Your guns are gone for you Democrats that own guns. This bitch Hillary wants to steal your guns from you. She's fine with letting criminals out of jail. Letting criminals out of, terrorists rather, out of Gitmo. Not criminals, terrorists. Right? We can't waterboard them, but we can kill them with drones at Obama. So, so that's another one that really makes sense. Don't, don't waterboard them, but kill them with drones. She's fine with letting them out. Because again, they're all protected by people with little guns. Little tiny guns that protect all these politicians. See, they don't give a shit if your kid gets killed. But you know what? You people are to blame. People that vote Democrat constantly. You vote. You vote for him, you vote for a sanctuary city. You vote for Democrat, you vote for the Constitution to be destroyed by the Supreme Court. When they put one or wacko up there. So how do you feel about that? I, I tell you, there's a space in the liberal mind that is missing. Really, you think about the liberal brain set. There's a section of their mind that is it's vacant. They need to rent it out. They need to have a billboard, freaking space in my freaking brain, liberal brain for rent. Because there's a hole in liberal minds. I'll give you an example. Richmond, California. They are paying people not to commit murder. thousand bucks a month. That's twelve grand a year. They've tried out with 65 different people so far. That's the program. It's right next to Oakland. Now let me ask you this. Who's stopping some freaking murderer from killing a guy in Richmond, dragging a body over to Oakland or Albany or even Berkeley? Can you do that? Hmm? How about if you beat the shit out of a guy and put him in a coma? Do you get like 500 bucks a month? I mean, you didn't murder him. Do you get some money back? Or how's that work? Is there a rebate program? I mean, how insane is this? You're paying people not to murder. You shouldn't do that to begin with, right? I mean, that's just something you were raised not to do. I'm not talking self-defense. Self-defense is self-defense. I'm talking plain, cold-blooded murder. They're paying freaking thugs not to murder in Richmond, California. How freaking mentally ill is this? Paying people something they should not do anyhow. 
Then why doesn't Grandpa sit there watching freaking TV, watching Mannix or Gunsmoke, drinking his beer? How can we don't pay him? He's not murdering people. If I lived in that city, I'd say, wait, are you going to pay this thug? You pay me. I'm not murdering people. How crazy is society? This is all liberals, folks. This is liberalism. That's what I'm saying. There's a place in their brain that is freaking gone. And yet you can't wait to vote Hillary in. The most corrupt liar. She's worse than Obama as far as lying and corrupt. I uh, remember her scandal. She had Whitewater. She had Travelgate. The Rose Lonk uh, firm uh, uh, scandal. You know, Benghazi, Bosnia, you name it. How about the Lincoln bedroom? I mean, this woman is full of freaking scandals. But it doesn't matter. They can't wait to vote her in. She's the most qualified because she's flown around the world. She's the most qualified. The Middle East is under freaking flames under this lady's watch. Russia, the reset with Russia. How'd that work out? But it doesn't matter. See, when you're a Democrat, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever the hell you want in life, and you're, it's acceptable. Acceptable. You know, it's like Trump is the evil. Well, let me tell you something about Trump. You may not like Trump, but you know what? His kids are freaking awesome. I'd rather vote for his son or his daughter. These kids are amazing. They should be role models to Trump children. No, instead, you have the Kennedy family. Really? Those are great role models. Most of them are on heroin or freaking alcoholics or they murdered women or they raped women. That's your Kennedy clan for you. Trump's kids never murdered anybody I know of. They're not alcoholics. They're not heroin addicts or drug addicts. What are they? Successful young kids with freaking great heads on their mind. Huh? That, that's evil? The Trump family kids are evil? But the Kennedys are, are the one we want to praise? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how this society, because again, because you're a Democrat, they want to praise them all. Praise them all. Praise them all. Praise them all. Hmm. But then again, Hillary sneaks right on in there and does the same old little Obama, destroy jobs against the coal industry. That's another thing when you see 5% unemployment. Let me ask you that stupid freaking question there. That's a good one for me, baby. Let me think about this. If 95 million people out of the workforce, there's 330 million people in the country. That's almost one third of the country not working. Now, by my math, that's almost 30%. Am I, am I correct or am I, am I, am I lying on this one? So how can unemployment be 5% when 30% of the country is not working? Hmm. And, and the media says nothing about that? Again, 95 million out of the workforce, that's almost one third of the United States of America not working. But unemployment is 5%. How does that freaking correlate? Can people understand that? Again, there's a vacancy in a freaking liberal mindset. They want to lie to you. And you know what? It works because these idiots don't know. I had a lady call me up to a survey. First time, finally, right? I asked her about sanctuary cities. She did not know what a sanctuary city was. I could not believe it. I go, I can't do this freaking survey, lady. And I didn't say freaking either. Uh, you got to be kidding me. You can't tell me what a sanctuary city is? And you want me to do a freaking survey? In the state of California, freaking foreign nation? This is unbelievable to me. This is unbelievable. This is what we're dealing with. You're dealing with a freaking mindset that is freaking off the freaking charts. Crazy. Just crazy. Crazy. Obama sues nuns? That's acceptable. Let's tear us out of Gitmo? No problem. Bush let tear us out of Gitmo too, just to be fair here. Bit to better. But Obama's doing it at a, at a rate where we can't understand what he's doing. When he's trading five terrorists for a freaking traitor. We, we know all that story. Uh, it just it goes on and on. But the sanctuary city things really drive me nuts. Over 300 of them, and I guarantee you, 99% of them are run by Democratic mayors. They're telling you they don't give a shit about the American public, but yet the American public will still vote Democrat. That makes all the sense in the world. They can't say all lives matter. There's your Democratic Party. They can't say that. What about Hillary's lies matter? That's what I want to know. Hillary's lies do matter because this woman is a liar, a snake, a snitch, a scoundrel, and she'll continue to lie. But you know what? I don't think it does matter because they'll still vote for her. That amazes me. But you know what, people? You get what you deserve. That's how I look at it. Just watch your back and all you little Democrats that vote for this scoundrel who's going to take your guns when that Supreme Court gets elected, when she puts one in there, another little commie in there, don't come crying to me. There you go. Hillary's lies do matter.